All right, let's go ahead and take a look at 11.8b. This is just more practice with operations using scientific notation numbers. So we're going to take a look at number 1 and 2 first. These are multiplication problems right here. So if we like, take a look at number 1, we've got 2.83 times 10 to the second times 1.29 times 10 to the zero. Now, you may remember what 10 to the zero is, and if you do, that might be kind of helpful here. Let's just go ahead and do this in the kind of the two-step process that we learned before. We're going to multiply these numbers together. So we're going to do 2.83 times, hit the times there, come on, uh, times 1.29. So we hit enter and we get 3.6507, 3.6507, so 3.6507. Now it's going to be important that you leave plenty of room below because what we get right here might not be the final answer. So let's make sure that we've got this written in scientific notation. We've got the decimal part of the answer and then we're going to do 10 to this power. We're going to add these two numbers together. So 2 plus 0 would be 2. We've got two tens here and we've got no tens there. So we've got two tens all together. Now here's the cool thing about this. This is in scientific notation. We are done. That particular problem is literally that quick. Let's take a look at the next one though. Let's take a look at number two. So I'm going to slide this over. The numbers that we need to multiply together are 8.3 and 4.4. So 8.3 times 4.4. We'll hit enter. Make sure we type that in there correctly. 36.52. So 36.52. Now you'll recognize immediately this is not going to be in scientific notation because the decimal number is not right. So let's go ahead and uh, get the 10 to whatever power this is. There are no 10s here. There are three there. So we're going to add those together. We get 10 to the third. Now we're going to have to adjust this. We're going to have to move this over one place. So this is 3.652. And again, because we made this number smaller, we're going to make this one bigger. So we're going to add one. So we compensate for making the, the decimal number smaller by making the, the exponent bigger. And again, if we move this one place, one place smaller, we increase this by one, so we add one. If we had had to move this over two places, we would have added two here. So we end up with times 10 to the fourth. We circle that and we're done. Now, just for the heck of it, I do want to show you that on the calculator, I'm going to put these numbers in here. Um, let's see what we get here. 8.3 times 10 raised to the 0 power. Okay, there's the first number in scientific notation. And this is all just multiplication, so I, I can just hit times 4.4 .4 times 10 raised to the 3rd. Get outside of that, we'll go ahead and hit enter. Notice that it says, 30, let's see, 36,520. So if we just plug this into the calculator, it's 36,520. Then we've got to move this over. So we've got to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3.5, whoops, 652. 652 times 10 to some power. That power is we moved it over four decimal places, so this would be 10 to the fourth. When we move it over four to the right, we have to make the exponent four if we're just going from that basic standard uh, notation number. So same answer either way. This is plugging it into your calculator. I will be honest with you, I like this way better. It's a little quicker to type in because we just do these two decimal numbers, and then we're really using our head about how we do the exponents. Either way is fine, but I do like this technique better. Let's slide down to the bottom here. We're going to take a look at number 9. Um, and I am hoping that some of these numbers, uh, th that you don't have to grab a calculator for these. And again, this is the danger of taking everything and typing it into a calculator. So on this one, you'll notice that we have 5 divided by 0.5. Well, how many halves are there in 5? So if I do 5 divided by 0.5, the answer there is 10. So I'm going to put a 10 right here. And then this is times 10 to the, now remember, we can take this and we can move it up to the top and this would be 10 to the negative 5. So we'd have 10 to the 2 minus 5, that would be 10 to the negative 3. So that would be there. Um, we could also do it this way. We could just say this is going to be the bottom exponent subtracted from the top exponent. So we could subtract 5. Either way we're going to get a negative 3 for the exponent, but notice this is not in scientific notation. The decimal is right there, so we need to move this over 1. So this is going to be 1.0 times 10 to some power. And remember, we just went from 10 to 1. We made this smaller. So when we make that smaller, we need to make this bigger. So we're going to add 1 to it, and, and making that bigger, when you're dealing with a negative number, if it's bigger, the number actually gets smaller, so we end up with negative 2 here. 
Okay, so there's the answer on that one. I am going to throw this into the calculator and show you that you do have to be very careful, especially with division. Unlike the one and two problem that we did up above, this is not all multiplication. There's the division here. So what we have to do is we have to make sure the calculator does this right. So I'm going to do five times 10 raised to the second. Okay, I've cleaned that up. I've put the parentheses there. So I have 5 times 10 to the second in parentheses. Then we're going to hit divide. And if we divide, want to divide by all of this, we have to put that in parentheses as well. So we're going to do divide by parentheses, 0.5 times 10. And we're going to raise that to the, that was to the fifth power. So we're going to raise that to the fifth power, hop down below, close the set of parentheses. Again, I've got that 5 times 10 to the second in parentheses, so that's the entire top in parentheses divided by the entire bottom in parentheses. Can never go wrong with that. And you'll notice this is why this is kind of a pain in the butt. You've got to type all of that in, and then we still get 0 0.01 which means we've got to move this over two decimal places. So this is going to be 1.0 and then times 10 to the, and remember, if we move this over two decimal places, the exponent is going to be a negative two. Two decimal places to the right means we're going to use a negative exponent right there. Okay, so it's the same answer either way. <clears throat> Calculator gives you this. I think it's a heck of a lot quicker just to go through and do it. Um, all right, let's take a look at the next one. 75 divided, divided by five. That would be 15 times 10 to whatever power this works out to be. Again, you can think negative 6 minus 6. If you wanted to, you could move this from top to, or sorry, bottom to top. They're both negative, so this would be negative 12 altogether. Not quite the right answer because the decimal's right here. The cool thing about this is, and the reason I find this a heck of a lot easier to do than throwing it in the calculator, is these are fairly small numbers. Even if you put 75 divided by 5 in the calculator, this is much easier mental arithmetic to do than typing it in the calculator, getting some gigantic or small number, and then changing it into scientific notation. We're one step away, basically. We need to move this over there, so this is going to be 1.5 times, and remember, we made this smaller, so we need to make this bigger, so that's going to be negative 11. We're going to circle that. We're all set to go. I am going to bring up the calculator and type this in. So again, set of parentheses, because we need to do the entire top, and we're going to raise that to the negative. Make sure you grab the negative right here. Raise to the negative 6. Close the parentheses. There is the entire top. Hit divide. And then we're going to start a set of parentheses for the entire bottom. 5 times 10 uh, raised to the 6th. Hop outside that exponent. Hit the set of parentheses. There's our 75. It's off the screen a little bit, but that was 75 times 10 to the negative 6th divided by 5, 10 to the 6th. Um, hit enter. And here we go. So this is 1.5e, and then uh, that's negative 10. So this is called engineering notation sometimes. This is 1.5, and then the exponent is on the 10 is negative 11. So you'll notice on this particular one, and here's why it works this way, this number is too small to fit on the screen here. Um, it would have, let's see, 10 zeros and then the 1, 5. Too small to fit on the screen, so it automatically puts it in scientific notation. So you do occasionally get lucky there. But either way, we've got the right answer, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 11. Keep in mind, that's what your calculator displays when it gives you an answer in scientific notation. All right, good luck with the assignment. We've already done a couple for you.